typically what we do is we'll do the punch biopsy, cut it in half, do half for H&E and half for tissue culture. First is to get all the materials up front because if you're all sterile and uh, you know, you're by yourself, uh, it'll, it'll complicate matters during the procedure. It is quite helpful when doing such a procedure to have an assistant at hand who is not sterile uh, in order to provide you anything you, you may have forgotten. There is a difference between clean technique and sterile technique. And for all practical purposes, to be quite honest, uh, I believe you could probably do uh, a, a biopsy for culture with clean technique because if there really is an overwhelming uh, infection in the tissue, that's going to come out if you do a clean technique. However, in the ideal world, we should strive for sterile technique, and so we're going to do our best to uh, show sterile technique here. You want to make sure you have all the material before um, before starting. Identify the lesion of the patient and, and numb the patient. That need not be sterile. Uh, one can um, clean the area with iodine, and since iodine needs a few minutes to dry to be effective uh, for sterilization anyway, uh, that's a good opportunity to clean the patient and then set up your procedure. You'll need a sterile drape, sterile gloves, uh, I'm presuming that we're going to do a punch biopsy with either a four, five, or six millimeter punch, depending on your needs, uh, and then stitch the stitch the hole. So you'll need the stuff to stitch the hole. Um, you're going to put half the biopsy in uh, an H&E bottle, half the biopsy in a urine cup. That urine cup will contain a sterile, a small piece of sterile gauze uh, and bacteria, non-bacteria static uh, saline. Um, you're going to cut the specimen on the paper of the of the suture backing uh, with a 15 blade, uh, and we'll go over that technique. Uh, and uh, this will be the um, syringe to uh, draw up the water. So first we start with the sterile drape, and this is actually a little tricky. Uh, there is a, a white side and a blue side to this. For all intents and purposes, uh, since this is sterile, since this is already sterile in there, I don't think it matters which side is up, but convention usually has the blue side up. Uh, you have like a one inch rim here uh, where it's sterile, uh, where you, you're allowed to touch it. Uh, so uh, the idea here is to grab it by a corner. Um, and then unfold it. Now sometimes you unfold it and like something touches the table. Uh, you can either call it clean technique and, and continue if your resources are scarce or you get a new drape. Uh, this one I guess you just have to toss somewhere. You should have a garbage nearby. Uh, and you try to grab it from the underside, handle it from the underside as much as possible. And then drape it on. Uh, and then, since this is kind of unstable, uh, I, I'm a fan of, of, of tucking it in. So at least you're, and maybe it's excessive to tuck both sides in, but there you go. Normally, uh, we, we'd start, you, 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 before you even set anything up, you can, you can numb the patient. So if this is like the target area somewhere here, uh, I have regular uh, gloves, not non-sterile, it's just clean, you clean with alcohol, you know, you do the numbing, whatever, uh, and uh, then, we, then we should clean this area and make it sterile. After we numb the area, what we can do is, again, with uh, just a clean technique here, um, you know, uh, you, you start in the center and, you know, you go around and you, you would do this maybe twice. You can do that with another one of these if, if you have it, or just let it dry for five minutes. Again, th there's a debate whether you do uh, clean versus sterile or some hybrid. Um, in, the, in the true sense of the, in the spirit of the video though, we should uh, ideally have a, a fenestrated drape on the area that we're doing. So again, uh, and this touched, but you know, fine. Uh, the, the area that we're concerned is, is here and now uh, this is the, the sterile part. Next we want to set up the tray and so um, you know the issue is uh, everything in the package everything in the package is dirty right so uh, I mean outside the packaging is dirty but the inside is clean.
so what you want to try to do is set everything up kind of in an organized way on the tray by peeling open the package and letting it gently fall on the tray. So we have the forceps, we have the, the scissors, we have the needle driver, and be careful not to rush. You don't want your hand to touch that. That's bad. So you have the needle driver, keen blade that you're going to use to cut the specimen. You have a gauze that you're going to need to uh, blot, perhaps. Then you put the sutures in there. Your choice of what suture to use, we had 3 nylon available. And of course, your punched instrument. Now we're ready to put on our sterile gloves, so I take off these guys. And uh, sterile gloves, and this is more of just a straight up surgery than uh, anything else, but uh, basic, basic form, and I hope I get this right for everyone, please don't hate me on YouTube, is uh, you, you hold it from the inside, uh, you put the gloves on from the inside, okay, now you grab it from the outside, because the outside is sterile and this hand is sterile, so I do that, and I wiggle my hand in there, you have to have the appropriately sized glove. You do your best to get the thing on. Okay, and now we're good. Actually do the procedure. So we had numbed the patient. I do with my biopsy. I'm gonna just kind of rush through this. So uh, we biopsy, the guy's bleeding. I'm so sorry. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to blot, fine. Uh, I, I, I should have tooth forceps, um, okay. I grab the specimen. Uh, now the, the issue is I just put the specimen on the table here. And uh, I actually should have organized the whole tray, but it's okay. Uh, so I have my, I have my paper uh, backing here for the specimen, but I tend to the patient first. Now we have to take the specimen and cut it, and this is the this is the kind of the critical part of of this sec section. I, I support it on the sides of the specimen uh, with the uh, forceps. I take my I, I notice that this is the epidermis and this is the subcutis. There's a little yellow there, and uh, I want to maintain orientation. So I take this this 15 blade and I press it exactly down in the middle. And I make sure that I'm cutting the paper. I can even rock it back and forth a little bit. Uh, now I move my forceps to the top of the epidermis, like so. Now I can drag the uh, blade through the paper without uh, letting the specimen roll through because the, the two arms of the forceps are blocking the um, tissue from rolling. And now, now they should just be separate. And they are. Now I have to put one in H&E and one in uh, the sterile. Now it's time to break sterility. Uh, and I have to set up my cup. And I'm deliberately doing this now so that this doesn't sit open to air for too long. So I have my cup. This is the tricky part. You have this gauze. And this gauze has to go in this cup in a sterile way without falling elsewhere. So it's kind of tricky. I like to hold the gauze like with my fingers here while while I unwrap it and then then the question is you just gotta finesse it in there it's in alright great next here's your syringe here's your needle and the needle is the needle is sterile okay and so uh, I wanna position I wanna posi use the the needle now to position the gauze in there okay and now I can draw my 10 cc's worth which is if you have a 10 cc syringe it's better we have a 3 cc syringe but you get the idea you'd you know put some in here and squirt it in there and wet the gauze and there should be 10 cc's worth okay so now that's good now I can um, take my uh, you know and you take you, you decide which half to choose. I'm going to choose the smaller half that's maybe not as good for H&E and I'm going to put that to be digested in for the tissue culture. And the one that's good for H&E, uh, and now we're not sterile so it doesn't matter, um, I put in the, in the specimen bottle. Of course you have to label the bottles with the stickers um, and uh, then you close the bottle. And 
uh, after that, it's just a matter of, of cleaning up. 